Hi everyone, this is Valerie from Dashly and here's a new video full of insights from Dashly team. Let's go through it. So when it comes to marketing, you might have a variety of options to try. For example, you'd like to launch a pop-up window on your website and the one has the text that you suggest and the other includes the text suggested by your team lead. So you have two very nice options and you don't know what to choose from. Another situation is when you are creating a lead form somewhere at the bottom of your website or maybe at the top, I don't know what is your case. So, but still you are hesitant about the fields that you would like to include in it. And definitely there is one more case where you might have a variety of options and that is an email. An email which includes a CTA. So why is it actually important to choose between two options? Simply because one can bring you 2% of the conversion rate and the other can bring you a 3% conversion rate, which directly affects the profit of your company. So how to choose the perfect marketing communication way before launching any of the options? Well, I personally know four ways how to do it. First of all, you can go to a wise colleague of yours and ask them their opinion on what should be launched from the very beginning. Another way is actually rock, paper, scissors, right? One more way is to listen to your intuition, you know? Option B will bring more leads. All right, I'm joking. But of course, you would like to rely on something that is 100% working. And that is an A-B test, which is also known as a split test. So in this video, I'm going to cover what A-B testing is and why you need it. So A-B testing or split testing is a method for marketers who would like to try a couple of ways and see which one works best of all. In other way, A-B testing helps you to choose one most efficient most successful, most working way to bring profit to your company. Like, let's imagine you have two hypos and increasing conversion rate on your website. For example, conversion to a lead. So you have two hypos and you think both of them are really nice and you don't know what to choose from. So run an A-B test to see which one is most efficient one. And definitely after the A-B testing, you will rely on numbers. Okay, so let's imagine you have numbers. One is bigger than the other one, but should you trust this one? No. And let's see why. So that's where we need Evan Miller. Find the link in the description. So Evan Miller has created a tool which will show you whether you can actually rely on the data from your A-B testing or not. Like, let me tell you a real case that happened to me last week. I launched a pop-up window on my website and a hundred of people looked at it. Just 14 of the people completed a key action. They shared their email address with me. And another pop-up window has collected 20 email addresses. So does it mean that the pop-up window which collected 20 email addresses is more effective rather than that one that collected just 14? No. The Even Miller tool says that no significant difference. And here's why. Just because you don't have enough data to rely on. So in this case, I will continue collecting more and more data to see which pop-up window is actually more efficient. I've actually run another split test on the website. And again, I launched two pop-up windows to collect email addresses to contact more contacts on the website. So both of the pop-up windows were seen by a thousand people. And while the first pop-up window collected 140 contact details, the other pop-up window got me 200 contacts. And now the Even Miller tool says that the sample two is more successful just because I have enough data finally. So again, to sum up how to work with the Even Miller tool, make sure that it says you have significant data. Otherwise, continue testing, continue getting more and more data to be confident that one option is more successful and more reliable than the other one. 
And here comes the question. What is the perfect duration of a split test? Nobody knows. That is a completely unique thing that is applied to your case. So you might run it just for a couple of days if you have enough traffic. And after two days of testing, get rid out of the option that doesn't bring you anything, right? Or probably if you have less traffic, you can run it for a week. Well, sometimes the testing also means a month, but that may sound too long. And if just in a month you still don't have enough data and even Miller Tool says, okay, please go and bring me more information to rely on, probably in that case A-B testing should be altered or probably in that case A-B testing is not your option. Perfect. Now you know what A-B testing is and probably, I'm sure, you already have an idea what to test on your website. And in the next video, I will tell you what you can A-B test. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click on the notification button. See you!